In this video, we're going to look at how to add an image to a content management area on a web page. Okay, so the first thing to note is the size of the bounding box. Now we can see here that it is 830 pixels wide by 444 high. We're not too worried about the height because this will expand as we add content. However, the width is the maximum width for this template and it can't be made any bigger. If we were to have the image full width, then it would need to be 830 pixels wide. If you want it half the width, 415 pixels, and so on and so forth. You need to make the changes to the dimensions of the images in an artwork program, such as Photoshop or Paint, in order to upload it at the correct size. Let's see how we're going to add an image. And we'll add an image that will come about here, down here, and we want to make sure that the text wraps on the right of the image. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll click on the left hand side of the words and then we will click on the image icon and we'll browse to the media library to add the image. Now let's just choose one of the suit images. And we'll choose this image here and press select. Now we will add an alt tag which is an alternative text tag so we'll simply call it suit and press save. Okay, so we can see that the image has now been added to the content management area. However, it doesn't look great. So we will click on the image and then go to the property inspector. Okay, now we will align the text to the right of the image or in other words, align the image to the left. So let's do that. And now you can see that the text is wrapped as we would like it to. Now on the right here you can see that there are other tools as well. So because we've wrapped the text around it we can see that a margin has been added on the right and the bottom. And this means that when the text wraps around it won't encroach on the image. But let's see what would happen if we add some margin to the left of the image. Okay so you can see that a margin has now been added here. I don't really like that so I'm going to put that back to zero. And now let's preview what this page will look like on a different device. So we'll save the changes we have made and then click browse. And now we'll click on the devices and go down to mobile in portrait. So this is what the page would look like on a mobile device. So scrolling down, that's exactly how we would like the website. Um, so we're done.